It was a good morning for you. I was feeling in this whole idea of wine, like the color wine. I've been really feeling it. So my lips are, the, the lips are still the lip bar. It's the lip bar, um, boss lady color. But I used a, a underneath it, I used this. My sister, Synovia, my sister, Synovia brought me back. I asked her, she said, oh, I'm coming to, the, to Ghana. Do you want any from the States? And I said, I need. That was before I found the cold, which I'm actually, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using the cold. But we'll see, talk about the cold, but, I mean, not in the mouth, we'll talk about the cold. Uh, the cold is great, but the natural mineral uh, eyeliner in black, and it's the vegan, of course, it's a vegan brand of Pacifica. I used to get this from Whole Foods, so I love it. So I decided to, I have two, so one is just for my lip darkening and then applying my boss lady, and that's why I wanted to do some. You know what they say, comedic look. So look, my skin, mm, my skin, I have not did a mask today. I have not really, you know, I did a quick wash. A quick wash for me is when I want to get up and do a video, but I haven't done everything. You know, I've done my yoga, I've done my oil pulling, and now I want to do a video, but I haven't done all my other care stuff. Uh, so I'll do a quick face, which is I use hibiscus tea as a toner, and I actually have it right here. This, this is not, I just, this is just a, re, a bottle that I'm reusing. And that's hibiscus tea in there. And then I, uh, and then, so I, that's to clean my face. And I use these cotton pad thingies. But I'm, I'm, I'm constipated, so I need to, uh, everything is, yeah, it's time to let go. So anyway, y'all trying to let go, not trying to let go. So rose hip seed oil is my moisturizer of choice for the face. Only thing that I use, I, I, like I said, I so-called mistakenly bought it. So-called mistakenly bought it. Because uh, I thought it was going to be like a rose fragrance because I'm a girl that loves roses. The rose smell, smell of roses. Oh, I love rose incense, rose essential oil. So I thought it was something like that. And then I got it home and I was telling you, I was like, it don't really smell like roses. <laughs> y'all was like, yo, sis, it's an oil for your face. And y'all, it really is. I mean, let me see this uh, skin in need of natural nourishment and renewal. So it's very moisturizing. Pure rose hip seed oil is rich in omega-6 essential fatty acids. This oil can be used to aid in skin renewal to replenish a healthy glow and antioxidant protection. I have to admit, I think this is part of the glow, no matter what glow. It's this, but and let me say this. It's this and that, and I, forgot, I just forgot to do I promise you when I rose water concentrate. This is, it's like the setting. And I can feel my face just, and so, and that's glow, that glow stays all day, y'all. It just gets better because, you know, that I'm in Africa, so it's sunny, hot. Today is overcast. I love it. I actually hope it stays overcast all day. Who see? We're going to act like this Wi-Fi is perfect, okay? That's what we're going to act like. So the cocoa butter, yeah, we had this hard stage, so when it's like this, I mean, a spoon might be better, but this is what I got, this broken fork. But at least it's made of wood, you know. I, I don't know. I, and this cocoa butter is the sample, but of course, I prefer it in oil, but this is what we're going to have to do. So this is the ritual I like, but my man, he just melts it. He takes his desired amount, I'll put it in another container, heat some water, boil it, you know, yeah, heat some water, boil it, and then put it in a pot and put the Put, put the coconut oil, oh, I'm sorry, the cocoa oil with inside the hot water, let it melt and use it. And it is, it's easier, you know, faster, all the things that we as busy people, but there's something to me about rubbing it with your own hands, just sometimes, because <laughs> I know in the States, yours is going to probably get more, but mine gets solid here, so it really is cocoa butter, it has to most delicious chocolate smell. So this is my ritual. This is what I do. This is what I put on. Oh, and that smell. That's what I do. And so you know. So you can say, because let me tell you, at first it may look like it's oily. It penetrates pretty quickly. And all you left with is just, I say, protection. 
uh, and softness. So, you know, cocoa butter, remember when you got a burn on your skin, you used it. So it wouldn't scar and it would heal. So, and the smell, the smell is just so amazing. So, yeah, I wish I could say we have a death one of the curtain. First of all, we our cocoa butter from this great but we, I can't say how long or, you know, all this, y'all, for me, and first of all, good morning, is a new, is a new business. So it's so much when you're dealing with products that you have to clear and do. Internationally, so different, so I'm learning and I'm willing to learn and not just, you know, I'm willing to learn and I tell you, know that some things, you know, I'm going to, not very patient, but I'm working on that. <sighs> but some things, the smell, some things take time. Some things take time. So yeah, you want to look at your skin. It's like it is. I feel like your skin is shining like that. You're aching. Your body, your skin is aching for the moisture, and I, the cocoa butters and all of that have moisture as well. The shea butter does as well, and that's what just like the hair needs a lot of moisture. So. As you, and then if you, you know, doing a little exercise, you working out, you want to, you know, show, show it off. <laughs> show off that body. And, you know, I want to, and it's, you know, it's nourishing, it's healing. And those, I'm sure, have so many vitamins and other things in it, I'm sure. And I'll get all of that. So don't forget those hands. That's what Spirit and Tumblr like. You get your whole body but you don't get your hands. And, you know, they've been around for, you have the same hands since you were born. So therefore, you ain't getting no more this lifetime. You gotta remember to take care of them. So this is my little how this happens on a daily, okay? Of course, I do my whole entire body, my feet, everything. And I just enjoy the smell. And I, you know, I and I give myself, that's a way for me too, because I'm, I'm rubbing vigorously because I'm also obviously getting myself a massage. If I got a seat, like I'm sitting down here or in the bathroom, I have a seat, then I can do this for a long time. I'll go into a meditation on this one. Like I will, I will forget because it smells good. It's soft, the fragrance, and then I'm just lost. And then the movement, you know, taking care of yourself, rubbing this, and I'll forget how long I'm doing it. But I don't let like time be like, oh, I gotta run, or I don't have time. Because I feel like, yeah, cocoa butter experience was different than the shea butter. Shea butter to me, you don't have to. I mean, there's some you feel like you have to, but I don't feel here. I have to rub it down too much. But I do, but not the same. Cocoa butter is solidified, so there's some effort. Either you, even if you have to melt it. Uh, so you still got to boil the water and send it in. So it's, uh, it's definitely more of a, I don't know if it's just a treat. I do it every day. Uh, <laughs> I think every day you get to, Leo, this is that's a very Leo thing. I think every day you get to love and touch your own body. It's a winning day. It's a winning day. So every day to me, you just touch your body. It's, a, it's beautiful. It's an occasion. Like, yeah, I do say that you got to like truly you know, love yourself, love your body. But I say love the work and the effort that you put into yourself. Like I said, like right now, I'm definitely been eating in a different kind of way. Uh, not really eating a different way. It, instead, I'm not eating, I have not been enough grains, raw foods. Because when I do that and balance with the cook, I'm good. And then when I have not eaten that for five days, I just feel like my whole appetite changed. And I also realized I do really love food. Like I don't need to have it all the time, but when I do... I have to have it, and I definitely have a love and appreciation for food. So as you grow, you, know, you have a, you have a new body. So the way things, everything changes, and I know I say I'm a new person. So I feel like my food is changing towards my body. Not this is what I, I realize. There are more choices than either or. There are even more choices than and both. There are so many ways, and every time you change. You're gonna, I gotta go back up all the way over here. I gotta go now all the way over here. I mean, you could do that too, because it's all good, but you could really, you're gonna always be finding it as a spiritual person. But, you know, like I said, it's good. Like I know and you know what to do. And sometimes things too, it's just trying to sit you down. So today I believe that I'm actually gonna stay home, like again, praying that 
the weather stays like that. <laughs> I want some overcast weather so I can go do So what I've been doing is cleaning my closets. I clean my whole wardrobe, the calabashes that store stuff on top. I cleaned, I cleaned. I mean, I got three bags out there, I think. Maybe more, but definitely three and other stuff. So now today, I'm actually going to be clearing this right here, which I say is my altar, which is my vanity. I say my vanity is my altar, and my vanity is a hot, a hot mess. I got two other drawers. I got one long drawer mess. Like, okay, I'm back. I'm not talking about bad, you know, negative words over me, but it's out of order, and I don't even know if I use all of this stuff, which I already know that I don't. I have, so I don't make more, I don't make earrings, because I don't, I have too many, and it's not that serious for me and so, in some ways it's just not like I don't know if I'm even needing like all these earrings in my life but uh yeah that's just I don't know but I love earrings so I don't know like I, that's my choice of if I have jewelry it's usually I want I care about my earrings and my bracelets forever for always whoa but this black stuff this is some newness for me y'all I don't know like I feel like I could you know like, I do it all the time, and then if the black got the red and the gold, then we, the ground will be good. So yeah, going through this whole thing, we only taking out stuff I don't use, getting rid of, and then the two drawers on the side has I don't know what. So they just look like there's a lot of stuff. I'm decluttering, so I figure I started in the Ashanti room. I'm moving now to my bedroom because I want to hold revamp in here. You know, the sense of mine, like I love it, but I think think. I feel like, you know, I've been representing myself through the strength of me. Like, I definitely represent my strength in my home. Strength, I believe, of our people and of our culture, right? And I love that vibe, but like, seriously, I feel like I want to represent the... I don't... Let me say this, too. I want to represent the divine feminine, but I don't want to be, like, overly over there either, because I don't... I'm both... I'm all of it. I want to... Like, I told somebody... You know, like the symbols you see, like on Facebook, or whatever, like the black woman superhero, but sexy. That's me. But she's strong, but she's sexy, and she's a black superhero <laughs> with the die high boots. You know what I'm saying? And something sexy, like nice fitting, shape showing, like you know, my age. Like that's what I'm about right now. So. <laughs> Or at least I think I am. At least I want to be. So I'm really on this mission to like bring all of that forth. But first, you have to detox. Okay? You have to detox. So, okay, what I'm loving about myself is I've been on my little routine. You know, I never really sway too far away from physical fitness. Um, but when you do physical fitness, you should drink water. And water also, the title is um, moisturizing, ooh, water, water is, seriously, that's the base beauty secret. Now, right now, my sleep is off, you know, I know, but I'm coming back, like, today I'm gonna take off, maybe even tomorrow, maybe even the next day, like, I'm feeling like that right now, just to maybe liquefy my body, drink my water, uh, and allow myself to contemplate Contemplation is so important. So allow myself to just be and to contemplate and to come back to myself. You know, I be putting a lot out. So, and I love it. It's fun. It's my life. I do it. I love it. Oh my God. Like, thank you for allowing me to put so much out, you know, uh, to be placed things. But just these days, I feel like, okay, I need a, I need to allow. You know, seriously, like seriously allow for the beautiful, wonderful changes and don't rush. Like, so it's like, you don't have to rush. You can plan. So I want to take today off. At some point, I'm going to get a massage. At some point today. But I really want to be in. And I want to sketch. And I want to sit and daydream and look in space like I do when I want to chill. Maybe play music. But it's definitely a drinking lots of water, water, and lots of uh, smoothies. Whatever I have available. Nothing more, nothing less. And just and, and, and doing like an all day, you know, who I guess he calls them. I've never been to one of those, but shut ins. But yeah, I understand the idea of shut ins. Some days you need to not even step outside. In other words, that means that your energy is your energy. 
so you're not zoned off by other. It's really dope when you do it, and before you know it, you know you just had the best day, because you know why? Because you had a day with yourself. So I'm really seeing like, okay, today I just want to date myself. I, I got this beauty line, but I got to make sure that I'm doing it, that it's researched. There's more, you know, like I got to really take, I told you I want to change. I want to take things seriously and, and properly. And so I'm allowing for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm allowing for, I'm still feel like this great, you know, the last intensive that I taught, uh, another one coming this Monday, the 29th. I think it's Monday, so it's the 29th of November. And it is a 21-day intensive. We were focused on money, but it was everything that my whole world fell down in the greatest way. Like, the me that I thought I was, ooh. And so I wanted to continue uh, delving into who am I. And so you need space and time. You have to really give yourself that when you're going through that journey of... You know, we say true self-discovery, but um, it's and it's and I always like to say it's not just who am I, but it's who I, who am I now? Who am I now? Because it's a difference, and, and you really could. And then oh, when you hear who you are, love it. Don't make it demanding. Don't say like it's not a bad day. You're just discovering. Discovering is very beautiful, very light, very airy. So. Yeah, and not, you know, like somebody was like, it's true, like, and not taking, I'm very serious. I could be, I've used to be, I've known, I've been very kind of serious. You know, it's the Leo too, so we're very dramatic. So our, if we're serious, then we're dramatic with the seriousness. And so we make everything sometimes feel like it's this lifelong, you know, it's a choice or, you know, like it's it's an either or. And it's not an either or. Not so when you look at my life, my life is still an either or. I'm still not quite all the way that it's not an either or. It's not even an and both. It's so much more. It's all of that and more. It's whatever you want. It's you might be defining what that is or it is. So there's a lot more freedom that I'm learning, you know. So yeah, because it's true. The basics of my said have fun. Like I I yeah, like mm, since I'm writing the book, you know, of my life, you, you are too by living it. That's how you write it, by living it. So that's your imprint goes out energetically. Since I'm writing the book of my life, why not really allow and see since there's no rules right now for me and probably never will be, since I'm you know, I'm testing you know, this being yourself, I, I just need to see more of what that even looks like. So, it's a good journey, y'all. It's a great journey. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'll do all of it. Do all of it. I'm having a good time. So, I'm decluttering, which means that there's decluttering going on on a mental level, a spiritual level, and a physical level. And I'm slowing down, but in a different way. I want to be, I want to come out even I want to walk into my new self, and I want to not still, it's it's not that it's not there, I'm discovering even more of my true self now, and I love it, I do, I really love it, I love it, I'm not the things I used to be, I'm not the things I used to be, I'm not even some of the emotions I used to be, some of the thoughts I used to be, some of the beliefs I used to be, I'm not. And that's, I don't know, that might be big to other people to realize that, but that is quite a revelation because I don't think most people sit and think, have I gone, have I changed, am I, most people really kind of think they're themselves just a little older, but there's a core self and it's only one, but it's not true, I'm t I feel it. Because I keep seeing my own metamorphosis, I keep seeing how things that I couldn't see or hear or feel before I can, or I just feel and see them now, and this is great. You definitely write it. Like, I will definitely say, you definitely write it. You you do write your life. I got that clear. I'm a true believer, and I did all this. Like, I, yeah, I can see it. You know, when you start going back, you start moving forward in a lot of ways. Because you're just like, oh, I don't even have to waste my time in it back there. I don't have to waste my time in the past. I don't have to even waste my time looking back. It's not necessary to move forward. It's not, and you realize that, and then you start, I think older age works for you in a way because it really helps you, you're not really looking past, you're looking forward, because again, there's that, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, there's probably something there that, and probably a fuel to your fire that tells you, look to the future, because that's, 
where your that's where your joy is coming. That's what's left for you. What's left for you is the future, and you start knowing it in some way. So you, I think you will probably, as you get into fifties plus, that you're gonna need more, um, more time and more give your time, time self time to change over time. And know that it's going to be a lot of shifting, but you could do it. Like you, it's almost like all the years we stayed the same, so that we didn't rock the boat or kept the family together or, or, or stayed on that job. We had to. We felt like we had our family, we had our children, we had, our, we had to make things happen. So you probably delayed a lot of gratification, right? And so as you get older, I feel like sometimes all, in some cases, in a lot of cases, all of that delayed gratification comes back and you realize that it's not gone. That those things or that feeling you still wanna have. You just don't know how it's gonna show up or how it's gonna look and that's the best part. That's something I learned in this last, whatever, few months even. That, yeah, it's, it's it's nice to like not know all of you. It's nice because it's it's like then you have something. You both you and you have something to really live for and live life more fully. Because who wants to think who you are is who you are and that's it. Like this thing about us, that is that thought is that as exciting as not knowing but discovering, and that everything's this big, amazing, wonderful surprise. And you find yourself in places you never thought of. You thought you never thought of, but you did with your attitude and your openness. I mean, that is way more exciting. And I feel like I'm living, I'm truly living in, in some level on, in that. I feel way more in the moment over the last few, again, I believe the class has a lot to do with it. And now these, these days of having off, so to speak, so I could, you know, get the next class ready. I like this time. Uh, it's interesting how it comes, but I feel like I'm more receiving of it because I'm older. So contemplation time, it's a must. It's like water you need it. It's a must. And uh, yeah, and I, I just, I'm learning to accept myself. So, so yeah, yeah, let's talk about this head wrap. I was feeling wine, that wine color. I mean, like I'm even feeling to drink wine, not palm wine, not Bodo Pito, but Pito's. Uh, once a week thing, but uh, um, but yeah, like a glass of organic wine, like I'm feeling the wine color and just that deep reds. And I'm in introspection in a divine masculine and feminine way, and and the fire, but the black for the groundedness, the like everything I'm choosing. I could because I, I choose like today, I saw this dress sitting on the table, and my my soul, I want to say my energy that's what I was, so I should say it was gravitated to that and my energy wants that on me because this is how my energy is feeling or this is what my energy needs even though I'm just staying in the house all day I'm not even walking to the store I want to only work with what I already have because that always helps me to realize that I have a, there's enough of everything always in my life like it helps me when I notice that like oh you really do we have this food you could cook this you could put these beans all day right here you got the stuff with the smoothie you can make it like you got I mean you always and it's just a beautiful thing so those days in is always a win for me so let's see I know this is my channel that hey good morning naturally hey Donna Nelson morning blessings do you keep the same soil tone in that is such a good question I mean I'm gonna answer that do you blend it or are you putting it on raw okay I'm gonna put it on raw okay I got that let me see Frenchie peace for love long time hey Frenchie uh, now she says the next one day intensive begins Monday, November 29th, daily on Zoom. Thank you. So keep it in the fridge. I'm not. Do I blend it raw? Do I blend it raw? I think that's the. Do I blend? Sis, let me know if it's do I blend. I don't remember because I probably, I probably was talking, but uh, the toner is interesting. I I don't know why it doesn't, but it lasts a long time. Mine sits out in the glass though, in this in this dark. This first one's a dark jar, and it is glass, and it's kind of sturdy. It was a rose water that was used to be in it, and I keep it out. I keep it on this table, uh, but there was times that I refrigerated it as well, 
because I thought one time it spoiled, but it wasn't what I think it was in another kind of container. So it seems to be in this dark container glass. It's fine, but I, yeah, I use it to the end. So yeah, so but you can refrigerate it too. I, I would definitely, if you refrigerate it, it's going to be a less chances of you remembering to use it, right? That's the thing. So that's why I was so happy when I noticed that it was fine sitting. But being in the glass in the dark, I think all of that has something to do with it as well. I really do. So think about that. Maybe put it in a dark glass and where it doesn't get any sunlight. It probably will do well. And also, too, this hibiscus is made from the tea bags. I don't know if that makes a difference as opposed to the one that's made from the fresh leaves or so for the dry leaves. I'm not sure. But these this, these, this hibiscus I make from the tea bags, and it's nice. And I blend, let me see, I do uh, my clay. What else do I, I blend my smooth water like it raw. Uh, if I do a smoothie, I'm, I'm eating it raw. But I don't know what food, so... But yeah, but right now I'm just doing smoothies and going within and, you know, doing uh, my moisturizer. So yeah, any questions you have about any of the things that I do, let me know. But this is what I've been doing for a long time. I wasn't trying to preserve my skin at 25. I really love my skin always. I think the year, what age was I when I realized that my darkness to me was my superpower? Like it was my specialty. It was my thing. And when I really used it to my advantage instead of my detriment. And I think I must have been, I don't really know. I want to say 25, but it could be, and that's a long time. Um, could have been more recently. No, it was probably that around there. So I, I, I love my skin. Do you know what I'm saying? And so I, I want to, anything I love, I dote over. I'm a Leo. I want to treat it right. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to give it what it needs. I've always... Probably, oh, when I moved out, 2019 20, 20, scented candles. Shea Butter is always from local artists and from Brooklyn. Like, I've always been this girl that loved to support those people that was the life that I want. The hand, hand poured and soy wax candles and the Shea Butters. And that time, when people were whipping, so we started the whipping, or even in the raw form, you know, the raw form too. I put the Shea Butter on the raw form. I put this cocoa butter, if that's what you're talking about in its raw form but sometimes I melt it as well so yeah so I don't blend it now if that's if she asking so now I blend it with shea butter and that's beautiful but I still do that even with a spoon but yeah so I've always thought I've always loved my skin and I've always loved the skin that I was in so that's why I, I always took care of it I did when I had money you know what I'm saying when I turned 18 is when I started, really, when I think about it, because I had to have money to really invest. But, um, and I was the same time, I think I, I, I was 18, 19 when I cut all my hair. So even the products I used was, I don't know when I started this, it had to be more natural. It took a little while with the food, but that came as well. So, but my skin, yeah, I, it took me a while, but once I loved it, I loved it. I love it. I think too, you know, I love to make sure my skin, my body is important to me, but our bodies really should be. So I like to make sure I do my exercise so that when I'm, when I'm seeing myself, I feel strong. You know, that's another important part to me is that the working out for yourself. Like I don't, I've never worked out for somebody or to please somebody. Or I've never tried to get my body. I've always, nobody could be up in my life, honey. It don't even matter. We're going to be on that floor. Even if I came in the house at four in the morning, at some point at seven, I'm going to be up with that. You know, doing my thing. I, I, it's, so that's, of course, my, my body in that way. It's always been important to me. Excuse me. Always. Now when I really think about it, like, oh, yeah, my body. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love my body. <laughs> you got to say that. Oh, wait a second. I forgot what a love story to the body. A old to the body. Like, oh, oh, ish. I love it. So I always, you know, so once I got into like the metaphysics and then the spiritual aspect and the found clean the food world when I was, well, how old were we? We was 1991 or something, was it? Yeah, it was two or something. And I was like, oh, wait a second. Now I can look beautiful from the inside out? Yeah, I take that. Let me get the food together because I'm already loving the body. Like, oh, yeah, I did. I did. Sometimes I think, oh, I hope I enjoyed it enough. You know, I love it more. But then, again, you don't have to think that. The incredible body you could have. My my number one, number one 
one in, in, inspiration, you know, idol, if you will, for that is, is Chef Babette. From the stuff I eat, the restaurant, I think she's in, is it Inglewood, California? I've been to her restaurant, too. Um, when I look at her, I, that's, yeah, I, that's, that's what's up. That's what's up in 70. Like, so I also, um, um, you know, have to, I think sometimes we get a little older, we might get, like, less... We want to work out, but mm -mm, you got to have a goal. Like, what's your goal? What's your point when you say, ooh, this one I have to get out? For me, my stomach is not, I'm, little, I'm getting a little weight for sure, but I like it because I don't mind that. But my stomach is very bloated. But I mean, I know it's not fat per se. It's straight up not, not things moving. And But that's my motivation. Sometimes I need that motivation. You know, I will get on that floor. I will get up. It, it's not, it's, it's like moisturizer for me it's part of my everyday life i could not not do it i might go a day or two i might even go three maybe on vacation so i didn't really get up and do that routine but i'm telling you when i get in that evening i go to sleep the next morning i wake up i'm back on that routine so you know just kind of like talk about knowing yourself well defining for yourself who you are though that is who you are that's me if you see me, if you see me going down too much, yeah, you might want to call me because I'm, I'm not going to slip that hard. Like, not not on purpose. Not on purpose. I'll, I'll slip now. I will have my days. I'll look a little, but, you know, I also love to mix. Like, I'm, I'm a party girl in a lot of ways. I mean, I say that, you know, I don't mean like in a bad way, but I, I wish there was another word for it. But because uh, I don't think that's accurate as a, something that goes with that type. But I will have pito, you know what I'm saying? Or stay out late sometimes and, and just, that's the truth. But um, that's part of my, you know, personality, but I'm all natural. I don't deal with no, I ain't no drug girl. And I, and, you know, if you are, do your thing, if that makes you feel good. Um, and I don't drink oh, liquor. I prefer something like palm wine or organic wine or Pito, but if you prefer something deeper, go for that too, because there's something to that. Everything got a path, and it's beautiful. So, I, I, I'm not unrealistic. Like I know that I might eat late. Oh, this, oh, this right here, because Manasi got a little stomach too now. I, oh, I wanted to tell you, we both got a stomach, so we both got a little tummy now, um, because he's been not practicing because he's been the accident with his leg, and uh, and we eat, we eat late at night a lot so we know that that's it late night eating over 50 does not work don't do it don't do it because you're going to take some time to get rid of it so at least yeah don't do it it's that's it you can really eat what you want i believe because i don't eat i tell you i eat one meal a day literally that's just the way it is i don't know but some nights i know i eat one meal and i come home and eat again but that was after I had lost so much weight and I was just, I don't know, I just was feeling hungry all of the time. So I get those moods out here. And then I was discovering like I totally love food. And then I was like, I love food. <laughs> and I feel good saying that. So then, you know, yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I need to uh, add some greens and some raw foods, smoothies, smoothies. Um, uh, chia seed cereal, some fruit, like those things do it. But then my teeth got into a situation, so I couldn't really chop down on any things. So, yeah. It's fun. I want to balance it. I like cooked food a lot, like I do. I just don't need to eat it the, the same thing every day. Split it up. And just add, for me, spirit is showing me, I because I, I've seen it. When I add greens, which means salads, when I make my first meal a liquid meal, like the kidney liver flush of water, when I then decide to, and then smoothies, when I and, and water, when I then decide to break that fast, it should be something still raw, like a chia seed pudding or cereal with fruit. Still, you got it. Your first meal, mine is early because I eat at the art center and I eat out there. So I'm always around 12 noon. I'm pretty, body is pretty tuned into hunger and I eat well and I love that their food, even with all the places I eat. I mean, I just really be loving the food and I'll be full and I'll be excited, I'll be happy. And then I go home and I usually don't eat again. I really, not, I mean, nothing, not even, I'm nothing. I drink water, maybe not even that. I'm usually because I drink water all day. So, as long as I get exercise. So, me and Manasi has not been exercising because it's been more about the working of his legs. So, 
Um, but exercise is hard because I do think at this at 50 plus I need a harder workout and I see has that for me so uh, hopefully we'll get back to that but no excuses I still got to get on that floor I still got to do the exercise I need to do like seriously no excuses so I'm always I love to feel and look beautiful and to show the world that you could be a dark woman that look like me and still feel and treat yourself beautiful because that's what you are. I mean, that's just the truth. So, now I don't play with my beauty. I mean, I like I said, I might, you know, everybody go down low, go through whatever things, but I, I don't play. I'm not perfect, but I look at my beauty as my, my indicator. If something is right or wrong, or if something is in need, or so even the way my skin is the way the butter go on, it's the shine, it's the all day. I tell people all the time I scan and ask questions, it's a conditioning. It's a conditioning. It is it, it, it has to be this way. It's shea butter over time, sea salt baths over time, you know, moisture, water, a lot of fats over time. This is also, you know, eating late over time, you know, you see that. This is not a lot of sleep over time. That's there too. We should I don't look for anybody to age perfectly. Everybody like locks, everybody's gonna look different, it's gonna come out different, it's gonna feel different, it's gonna have different energy. It's your journey. So I chew it, get the, the bag. Hey, I tell you, sleep is an issue. I try my best. I, like I said, I like to do things and I'm spontaneous. So, and even more so now, you know what I'm saying? And puffiness is there too. Maybe I eat too much soy or, which is kind of a weakness for me because you could do so much with that dang soy. Like, oh my God. I had a shawarma, a shawarma wrap. At the, I mean, I'm, I'm at mahogany all the time, but that, that wrap was amazing. Like it was, some type of, you know, with some soy, so I have a, you know, I still don't love that thing, and uh, so I, but I allow for that to be I don't try to be perfect up here, like I, I do the best, and I I catch myself if I'm falling, and uh, I love my man catching me, and me catching him like, we real open with it, he be like he said it, he's like, he, cause I, yeah, he said it, he's like, oh, your stomach, and he said oh, I never sleep with a stomach, and I said, I know he said but I never really, he said, but I, I've seen me with a stomach a lot. He said, I got one now. I said, yeah, you do. And he said, you know what it is for both of us. It's the oh, it's the late eating. I said, oh, yeah, it is. He was like, but at least you get up and do exercise. Because his leg been hurting, but I be telling him, you know, I'm a soldier. I be like, yeah, your leg hurt, but you can get on that floor. You can do something. There's only one leg that's hurting. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, I'm a drill sergeant. I also love nurture and massage his leg and put oils on it and all that good stuff, too. And it's true, like, no matter what, like, I will get up and I will get down on that floor to do my thing. And my man knows that about me. It's not about him. It's not about what. And, but at the same time, I love that we both care about that. We laugh. We joke about it. We about ourselves. We talk about our jealous. It's the most kind of free, most beautiful, most, but we accept it, too. It's not that, but it's real. I, I want a man in my life that appreciates that I love to look as good as I believe I can look. I, I, I love that because I want my man to do the same. Now they say Leo's, Leo's want a nice looking and a nice dressed and a well. We like that because you know we like to be seen so our man is part of us. And we, so we, yeah man, that's why I say when he be training I'll be like, oh, baby, keep going, keep going, keep going. Like, yes, let's look beautiful. Let's look our most beautiful. So it's true. We, when we talk about going to an event, we always talk. The first thing is, so when we going to wear a queen? That's what he always asks me. So when we going to wear a queen? He knows it's important. He knows it's like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> We're going to wear a cocoa by time. That's what we wear in. <laughs> and accepting that about myself, like, I'm never not going to do this. It's like I'm never not gonna wear these colors and form-fitting dresses. Remember, I'm, and I'm in Africa too, so remember, it's like kind of you know not, not not usual probably for a woman my age to even wear a form-fitting dress. You want to see my dress? Y'all saw it before, but it is fast becoming one of my favorite dresses. Don't look at my belly, but ooh, this is this is my dress, and I just love it. I love it. Because it's a simple, I love the simple feel of it too. I love it. And I love the colors and I love the, uh, I love the cuts. 
because I like my, I don't know if you call it athletic, I don't know what you call this, but I think these kind of things look good on my body, and you got to know what looks good on you, too. Yo, y'all, I've been hitting them push-ups. Push-ups are good for you, ladies. I believe it all the time because my breasts, of course, as age, sag. So what happens with the push-ups and, you know, your chest is stronger, so it's pulling up with the breast. And you tend to sit up a little more. I know my posture is better. I'm more aware of it because I'm doing exercises to strengthen the core, exercises to strengthen the back. So I feel like, and I love, you know, my arms is looking stronger, like, but I, 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 uh, I know, and so I'll be drawn to certain clothes that's going to accentuate those things that I like. So yeah, I do, I love my body, of course, you know, there's no, my curvaceousness, I think I'm still curvaceous probably, but see, I can, that's stuff I got to work on, can I see it or not, am I curvaceous or not? Out here is a lot of curvaceations going on, but, uh. And, and I thought, oh, my God, like, I don't have it. Like, that was my identifier, like, my body. Oh, my God, like, my butt's gone, you know, I'm not as thick. Or... And it took me almost a whole year, I think, to get over that because I, I was in Africa where the women are, oh, my God, so shapely, incredible. I'm like, when do you, why would I lose my body when I come here? <laughs> this is what I needed most. <laughs> And then, you know, you started just seeing like a real world and you start seeing, you know, I think the first thing you think for a woman since you're getting older is you're, you're going to be less attractive to the opposite sex. And a lot of us, you know, unfortunately, we let, learn to lead with our bodies. That's you women with so-called nice shapes, right? So then you go out in the world and you really start seeing life because you don't have that. So you have to now look and be from another perspective. At least you think you don't have it. And you start noticing that the men are dating women that look all kinds of ways. Some don't have no booty at all, you know, right here in Africa. And then you remember that people are people and they're not a slogan or even a preference. That it's, it's, I mean, definitely people know what they like, but I don't know. You just start getting real and it starts to become something else. And then you start really loving and embracing like, you know what, it's still to me beautiful, it's still sexy. So yeah, I will wear this dress definitely down, like going to the art center area, like any part of a crowd, to be honest. Even being my age, like I just cannot conform. I, mm, it's gonna be very difficult for me. It's just so not me. Like I, if I try to like look at, cause I tell you, I put my glasses on one day. It was daytime, and I looked at my. I looked at everybody coming, and I saw all the clothes, and it was grays and blacks. So it was not wrong the clothes. I saw what they really looked like, which was absolutely stunningly beautiful. And I saw like it was like if, you, if somebody could capture it on the photograph, it would have been like all of this grays and blacks and dark, beautiful, amazing people with these features and these. And this one woman in all of this dang color, like that was me. Like so, I. <laughs> I really saw what they saw, and I understood that I do look a little bit different. It's very bold, you know. And I, I mean, it wasn't too long I asked myself this. I was like, so how do I feel about that? That's what I'm, you know. And then even my skin is kind of moist, moist, and everything's shining. Like, the shining is a whole nother level. Like, what is she doing, you know? And uh, I'm sure people are looking at me that way all my life, but I always had a way, like my vision, maybe I saw my vision ever was 2020, because maybe I needed to, so I couldn't see you looking at me, or I would use Walkmans back in the day, because my, my style, me and my whole, are just always different and outrageous in some ways. And uh, so I always had all these buffers, and stuff, but now I'm taking like, you know what? This is me, this is me. So I gotta express my beauty daily and I gotta express it daily and just because they people get comment on the fact that it's not just even I'm fancy every day you know whatever but that it's different every day every day it's a different they say outfit but I feel what they're describing when they tell me it's a different mood and I feel like yeah my clothes help me to express the different parts of me that truly do exist within me they exist, they are real, and they need to be expressed. So it's true that I, I feel like my style is very, it could be this today and that tomorrow. Some people might say, oh no, it's all a thing, like I see where you're going, or nobody has ever t 
describe my style to me. So I'm not even sure what my style would be considered. Maybe Afrocentric, I'm sure, but I don't really know. I don't even know what you mean that you put me, what Afrocentric? I think that probably, but you know, I like to show my body sometimes. Sometimes I don't too, let me just say that. Sometimes I definitely, and it could be a days, it could be weeks, it could be months. Like I just don't even want to show it. Like I'm just not in the mood. Like I'm just wanting to be more modest and because that, and it all happens in a week. It doesn't happen today. I wear a dress like this tomorrow for three or four days or five or weeks. I won't. Then I'll do it again. It's all about the moment and how I'm feeling and what part of myself needs to be expressed. That's what my clothes are doing. They're expressing. So you, you see that, oh, her sensual, her sexy side is running through her. I can see that because look, she's expressing that on feeling that energy. You know, because I was saying, I was saying, I was walking down the street with Nasi and I was like, what are they looking at? He's like, everything, your clothes, your skin, your, like, your light, you know. And then he always reminded me, and you're also sexy. Like, you're, that's because I had this dress and he said, and you're looking real sexy. So I forget that sometimes. I forget that I, yeah, we're sexy, and, you know, so. Shine, 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 shine. Cocoa butter. I'm selling it too. So, but, anywho, come to the class. The class is all about self. If you feel it, any of this come through. Yep, yes, my sorrel in a glass bottle. That's why I have fresh sorrel, which is an abundance here in Jamaica. Yes, so it's used. I can really see the difference. I also I use it in my hair too, right? Thank you, Donna. It's a great conditioner. It's a great rinse. It's in my hair now, like I try to do it almost every other day or at least, at least a few, few times a week because I just love it. And then when it falls on your face, then you get that extra. And if it falls on your face, let it dry into your face. Try not to even let it air dry when you get hibiscus, even if you, you know, fall from your head. I even put on my body the hibiscus. I rub it in. Like, it's been good to me. And like you're right, yeah, it's abundant in the, in the warm, beautiful climates of the Caribbean as well as Africa, yes. Mod Shay, love to travel well, to sand. The fire sign clothing, this fire sign clothing all the way. Good morning, that homie. Good morning. Good morning. Hey Beverly. Hey naturally sister Bab. Yeah, y'all. I I yes, the fire, this is all fire. But that black is really grounding me. So maybe that's why I would never you would say to me, oh you're gonna be wearing black. I'd be like, no, I'm not into black. I don't wear black, I don't wear black braids, I don't black bag. But now, everything's a mood. So everything is um, more than a mood to me. Everything is a vibe, but it's a it's a message. It's where you at, it's medicine. Your, your clothing is your medicine. So this 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 is the bag I'm carrying. For again, a black bag, even this dress with the black and a black bag, most people with all these freaking Ooh, kaleidoscopish colors. Like, this is my bag. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Like, I love this bag. I didn't design this bag. I, I respect it from another design. It's just a very sexy and beautiful bag. And then the other side is like a complete bag. It's like this, but like the whole Native American. I feel actually like the Southern Southern African and Namibia's and the, and just its own vibe. So that's what I, so my bags, I might wear the same bag for a while. And there's no other reason. It used to be, I think I was lazy. You know, it's a vibe because when it's time to change, I change. And then, luckily, too, I've been doing it. No. And I will stay in the house and I will do what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, y'all. So, cocoa butter. Cocoa butter. The rest of I don't even have it on. So, I'm just only demonstrating. But I'm going to get to work because I'm now I'm going to get this Wi Fi. So, this, this is my Wi Fi device. Let me show y'all. This is what I want back. And you pay, pay one fee and it's limitless until. 30 days or so and it's better because the data you pay it going but I wanted to try and see was the data but better at for somebody that uses it as much as I do if I didn't use it a lot even just regularly just for classes the data is better but pay as you go but because I want to randomly get on all the time then I was realizing I was watching a lot of spiritual stuff today I was like oh so it's not a great choice but it was good that I was thinking out the box and it's comparing and seeing where I could save some money and because that was from the money thing but the Wi-Fi, I can tell you, it is the way to go. But data is good when you leave the area. Mm -hmm. Once I come out of Accra and I go into the Volta, Eastern Region, any one of those Cape Coast 
my, my whole data is gone. That's when data is great. So have always have data on your phone, but I'm going back to the Wi-Fi. So I'll do that in a day or so. Yeah. Also, I need my Wi-Fi to get on my other computer. And so, yeah, honey. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to enjoy some quiet time. And uh, I'm definitely going to stay home. And let me call Quaku so I can tell him what I think we fit to do. Uh, next chapter, the beauty line. Beauty line. Woo, the beauty lines work, honey. I might have to take a trip up north and I got stuff to do up there because I got to make sure everything is everything and safe and allowed to come to the U.S. And there is stuff involved up in this piece, y'all. So, so anyway, I love you. And I'll see you all. I'm going to do me a smoothie. Yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Enjoy your life. Get up and do some exercise. Do some push-ups. All right. Good night. Good evening. Good morning. I love you. Peace. Blessing. Make sure you go to the website, afrocentrichomedesign.com at gmail.com, no, afrocentralhomedesign.com, and sign up for your spiritual courses. It's the 21 days. We are, it's the know thyself. I'm not going to say know thyself because I can't get into my computer because I got to go get this Wi-Fi. So, but you can still purchase the class. It is the, it is under spiritual courses. It is the 21 day visualization meditation, and it is the right class. When you purchase it, it is the class. It don't worry what to say, and it starts on November 29th on Monday. It does start at 4 a.m. It, it's a real life-changing experience. I'm there 21 days, including Saturday and Sundays, and we really grow. I grow. We all grow. We have work homework that I verbally give you, lessons, uh, things to work on during the, that day. You have access to me to ask any questions, but it's, it really is a community. And then we, something we, last time we created a Facebook group to supplement that Zoom once a day so that people can share pictures and connect if that's what they want. $67, uh, design.com It's worth it. And I'm going to go through all of my three channels and make sure that I put the information in the description boxes. So, yeah. It's so good. Like, the classes, I'm so thankful. Also, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one consultations. Because so many people are asking. I'm about to go make sure that's on a thought I put it on a, a site. I actually think it is on the site, but you should look on spiritual courses. If not, I will make sure it is. It's a hundred dollars for an hour, just so you know, so we can just be transparent. So if you go find it, you want it. I'm doing consultations. I just been called to be home more and I feel like I got a lot to give and I want to give. Like I'm filled feel like with wisdom information. Like it's almost it's not overwhelming but I know, you know, I need to I need to I need to allow that energy to channel through me for somebody else too because when I got it I saw I, you know the channels I think I gotta like give it and somebody really needs it in a specific way so and if not if it's not on the website which I'm gonna check everything today so I'm staying home these next few days uh, you can just email me at afrocentrichomedesign.com enjoy your beautiful day I'm gonna have a beautiful smoothie and I'll see you all in the next video Let's see if I missed anybody. Good morning. Good morning. If you can't wait at 4 a.m., you get daily recordings. Thank you. Thank you, Naturally. That's right. You sure do. Thank you, Naturally. And consultations 101, $100. Book yours, AfrocentricHomeDesign at gmail.com. Thank you, Naturally. So come through, ladies. Next class starts on next Monday, the 29th, and then the consultations are ongoing until they're not. So come. Come through. I'm home. I'm, I'm, I want to be home. I need to be home. So let's do it. Talk to you.